Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take another look at how the rays trace through a thick lens. Assuming that they start from a single point on the optical axis, when they reach the front side of the lens, they will refract across the boundary, then they will travel in a straight path to the back side of the lens. Again, they will refract when they go across the boundary, and then if they then continue in a parallel path, parallel to the optical axis, we can see then that we can define this distance from this point right here where the rays emanate to the front of the lens as what we call the front focal length. But that's not really the effective focal length of the lens. Consequently, if we have rays that are parallel to the optical axis as they reach the front part of the lens, they will refract across the first boundary, refract again across the second boundary, and then when they converge together at the single point, this is then the focal point on the back side of the lens, and the distance from the back of the lens to that focal point is called the back focal length. Again, not the effective focal length of the lens, simply the distance from the focal point to the lens. And the reason why it's not the same as the effective focal length is because the lens has a certain amount of thickness. Now notice here the dashed lines inside. If we draw the line straight through across the boundary without changing direction until we get to the primary principal plane, and then we draw the line horizontal, notice that this is how the ray can be assumed to be traveling through the lens, and so then the point where they would bend would be the effective point, as we would call it, where they would bend would be at the primary focal plane. On the back side of the lens, again, you can see how the ray actually bends here and bends again, but if it continues straight through, if we just assume that it does, until it reaches the secondary principal plane and then bends, notice we can then have the effect of bending happening at the secondary principal plane. What we can then say is that the distance from that focal point to the secondary principal plane is the focal length on the back side of the lens, and over here, the distance from the focal point over here to the primary principal plane is the effective focal length on the front side of the lens. So that's why we assume that the effective focal length is simply the distance from the focal point to where the rays are assumed to be bending, the effective point, not the actual point, but the effective point here and here at the primary principal plane and at the secondary principal plane. So effectively, to find the effective focal length, we simply add the front focal length to the distance from the vertex to the primary or first principal point, and to find the effective focal length on the back side of the lens, we add the back focal length to the H2, the distance between the back vertex and the secondary principal point. And that's how we find the effective focal length, and that essentially will be the focal length to be used when we're dealing with thick lenses. And that's how it's done.